Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. If this is your very first time here, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing the best and worst of May. And so if these are products that I've used in May, a majority of them I've used for the first time or I made a habit of ultimately using them throughout the month of May. So without any further ado, let's get into this video okay, so i don't have this list in any type of order however if i did this would be at the very top of that list and this is the Ose andaria body butter this is on some next level elevation type ish um in a previous video or an old video i mentioned that I purchased the oil. It was actually on sale when I purchased it, but I did mention that it was something that I would repurchase and I understood why all the girls were raving about the oil. And so I decided that I wanted to try the body butter. Originally, I purchased the body butter and the oil together only for me to realize that mm, I didn't really necessarily need the oil along with the body butter, especially seeing how I already had an oil, um, the Aveeno body oil that I also use and while it is not part of this family it still pairs fairly nicely um the two of them together chef's kiss this is also like gluten-free vegan um it's age defying and a little goes a long way it is absolutely rich it is hella moisturizing um this is definitely on some next level body care and you can feel the um, the difference in the body. So this is, was a favorite. This was the best of the month of May. This was probably the best, I would say would probably be the best of 2023 for me right now. Worth every penny, but if you could build up some dollars at Ulta, definitely use your dollars towards, towards this purchase because um, it is up there in price, but very much so worth every single penny. So now I think I want to get into a worst item. Maybe we'll do a best item, worst item, favorite item, least favorite item type of order. Um, and so I will probably go into this next item. This is a skincare item, but for specifically for the face. That item would be this Pharmacy Beauty um, 3 times TXA. This is a dark spot toner. I'll talk about this in another video. It's something that I purchased in a previous video. And I guess you could say that this is an update. And for the amount of money that I paid on this, I'm not going to say that it didn't do what it was supposed to do, but I have my Polish Choice Primer that I feel like has done a much better job for my skin. Um, at minimal, this did what a little bit of what it was supposed to do. Um, I used it every day, sometimes two times a day. Um, and I just ultimately did not see any results. Um, I followed up with sunscreen as advised in the instructions. That's something that I've been really, 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 really strict on lately. And I just ultimately didn't see the hype. The hype isn't worth hyping. For what I pay for this, it's not. I would definitely prefer to continue to use my Polish Choice. I might try to see if I could still take it back because I just ultimately wasn't really that satisfied with this item. It really wasn't all that great. My next favorite item, this would also go on the top of the list, would also be this reformulated Lancome Science Edol Ultra Wear Foundation, which I've only been using for the last like couple of weeks towards maybe the second to the end of May. I probably started using this like the second or third week of May. And this is definitely Bay. I would say that this is the foundation of the year. This is reformulated. I was able to easily pick out the perfect shade on the website, but it is soft. It is breathable, lightweight. Um, it provides a medium, I would say a medium to full coverage. Um, and it's supposed to provide a 24 hour long wear. I didn't test it for 24 hours, but um, this definitely did 
all that she was supposed to do it went above and beyond beautiful finish ah. forget the makeup by mario foundation and you can debate me all you want in the comments but i will definitely say she's giving foundation of the year if you haven't tried this i highly 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 recommend um uh, that you definitely give this a uh, a try so now let's go ahead and get into another worse not that I would say that this is horrible but I would say that this is hyped to the hype and this is the Lancome um, mascara I would ultimately say it's just she's overhyped she's overhyped not that she doesn't do what she is supposed to do but I feel like at the minimum she definitely she, she does that it's just that for the penny for what i purchased for this i've purchased Scour some drugstore that pretty much did the same thing that could ultimately do what this has done so i think this is definitely hella hype maybe everybody just loves the packaging because it's ysl and then you have the big y SL. I feel like it elevates you as an individual to a certain extent and I think that's where all of the hype is coming from. Just to have it and just to say that it's YSL. It's technically in my opinion somewhat of luxury makeup brand. Correct me if I'm wrong. It may be considered luxury makeup but she's definitely not worth the hype. I've been actually pulling my adult my adult, my, my Lancome adult waterproof mascara more than I've been pulling this. This, if I could take this back, I would. Definitely not worth the hype. And now the next item that I would definitely say would be babe is this Kiehl's Ultra Pure High Potency 1.5 Hyaluronic Acid Serum this made my skin skin for the month of may despite some breakouts that i had that i think were was a result of some other things some hormonal things and just some other things that i needed to change in my environment overall this was everything it left my skin hella hydrated um i've used other hyaluronic acid um serums that left a sticky feel and ultimately left a little bit of some white flakiness and this did not do any of that it provided me the hydration and all that i needed the butteriness of my skin left my skin just looking like butter baby like just dewy just beautiful just feeling and looking amazing without the stickiness and the white flakiness that I've experienced with other hyaluronic acids. And that is why I would ultimately say that this is worth every single penny. I need to repurchase because that's how often like I use this. I made sure that I didn't do anything, any type of makeup, any type of anything without my hyaluronic acid. Okay, so this next item I don't physically have because I had to take homegirl back. And my experience with this item is evidence that not everything is meant for everybody. But it is the Down There Wash um, that I use that I just had a horrible experience with. Um, I wish I had read the reviews on this. I did read the reviews. I saw that it had maybe like a 4.7, 4.8. But even with the 4.7, 4.8, what I would typically do is look to see what's the worst thing that anybody has to say about this product. And unfortunately, I did not do that with this item. While it did like leave you smelling like, or made you feel like you, you smelled fresh because it had the rose water. I love rose water. I love the smell of it. It's fresh. I know it's ultimately good for you. I don't know if it was the rose water or the formulated pH in this item, um, but um, no, the, the, the pH wasn't pHing for me. It 
threw my pH levels entirely off and my body like immediately reacted to that. And that's how I know that it was that item. Um, I would typically use honey pot, but I was out of honey pot and I was trying to make the best like of what I had. Like I was trying to stretch these dollars. I ain't even gonna lie. I was trying to be cheap because honey pot did go up in price. It's roughly about like $10 now. And the girl used to be $8.99. And the down there wash is roughly about $4.99. And I was like, oh, I can get two for one. So I purchased a two for one. And I know that this is what threw my pH off and caused a whole bunch of issues for me that led me ultimately um, to make an appointment with my OBGYN. And he confirmed it as well. Um, that was the only thing that I had introduced to my care, my hoo-ha care, prior to my visit or my prompt to calling my doctor to, to, to make a visit to my OBGYN slash gynecologist. But it just, we weren't here with that and she unfortunately had to go back. Let's say that homegirl won't work for you, but um, for me and for people who have sensitive who has like me it may not be a good fit for you i guess i can't really say my thing was sensitive like that but um it was sensitive to that maybe it was the rose water who knows but the ph was a phing for me and homegirl had to go back so i feel like trying different products there's nothing wrong with trying different products but when it comes to like items like vaginal washes you want to proceed with caution when it comes to like trying out new vaginal washes because a girl like me I got things to do I I don't have time to have this you know what I'm saying out of order and so that is all for this video I hope that you found it helpful and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it does help your girl to become a little bit more discoverable out here in these youtube streets <laughs> let me know if you've tried any of these items your thoughts and your opinions about anything that was mentioned in this video down in the comments below or just you know girl if you feel the same way you know what i'm saying and as i always like to say if we vibe subscribe join the tribe join the community and make sure that you never miss a beat and until the next video peace